Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play FP Games with yet another episode of my Tottenham Hotspur career mode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm going to put this quieter because it's, I, I, I don't know, just seems too loud. But anyway, yeah, we are going to have our match against Everton today. And um, yeah, episode 8, sorry, a bit distracted, but we're going to get into it. Cal Hanoglu in the last game, well, in the last game we won 4-0 and Cal Hanoglu scored two incredible goals on his debut. I'll show you the results from the well I'll show you the result here. Four nil. Four nil. Away as well. Away at the uh, King Power Stadium, so that was incredible. And we've got Everton today. Hopefully we're getting a replication of that performance. We are currently third in the league. Joint third with Liverpool and Manchester United. Um and um I think we're on the same goal difference as well. No, we've got a better goal difference. Six goals scored. One conceded. I've got some frosties here, guys, that are kind of dry, so I might be eating them throughout the uh, episode. I'm pretty hungry. I've not eaten much out there, so... Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to head into the um, Everton match. And also, guys, yeah, we signed Emery Laporte in the last episode, and he's expected to make his debut, which, of course, he is going to be doing. Tottenham versus Everton. Let's take a look at the lineup. So in goal we've got Hugo Lloris. Fullbacks are Danny Rose and Kyle Walker as always. Jan Vertonghen and Emerick Laporte, the centre backs. Laporte will be making his debut today. Eric Dier, centre uh, defensive mid. Um, Son, I don't, I can't remember his first name. Young Min Son or something. And uh, Eric Lamella, the midfielders. Cal Hanoglu, the centre attacking midfielder. And Kane and Clinton and G. We're going to give him a start because he's gone in the last game. He, uh, well, both of those guys will partner together up front. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, we sold a Deli Alley to Aston Villa in the last episode as well. So Deli Alley has gone to Aston Villa for the season. Well, actually, he's gone to Aston Villa for as long as he wants because um, we got quite a good offer for him. Excuse me, guys, I'm just eating. I said give me uh, 15 million, and they did. So 15 million for Deli Alley. 19 year old with a lot of potential. Pretty good, I guess. Harry Kane's trying to win his headers and it's not going well, so we're just going to start into the match. So we are at White Hart Lane. At White Hart Lane, a big welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. Dallas, I don't understand. When we're at home, it doesn't show us the team lineups on the screen. But when we're away, it does. So it's Matt Kleinberg, the referee again. Talking about our win against Leicester. Of course he is. I think he's the only one in the game that's actually a Premier League official. So Tottenham will be kicking off with NG and Harry Kane here. A white hat lane against the Toffees. Tottenham just passed it around, trying to create some space. You can see the lineup at the bottom of the screen. Joel plays in goal. Oh shit, that was a poor pass from Daddy Rose. I kind of like my concentration lapse a little bit there. Seamus Coleman now to De La Feu on the right wing. Very good interception there. Jan Vertonghen getting the ball back. Son, Lamella. Spurs will want to continue their good run of form here. And Cal Hanoglu is going to go from range. Oh my god! Cal Hanoglu is a freaking beast! I love Callum Ogle already and he's just joined the club. My God. My God. What a way to open this match here at White Hart Lane. I believe it was Lamella. Passed it off to Callum Ogle. No, it wasn't Lamella. It was number 11. Who's number 11? I'm trying to remember. Can't remember offhand. Oh, it is Lamella. And uh, he passed it off to Callum Ogle. He's just put it top left. Beautifully past Joel in the Everton net. That is a beautiful finish from the new signing, Callum Oglu. He has been incredible ever since he signed. Three goals in two Premier League games. You can't ask for more than that. I feel like Callum Oglu was an impressive signing. I'm glad I made it. Barkley now. I believe that was uh, Jagielka looking for Delafeu here. Crossfield ball. Delafeu tried to cut in. And it's a shot, and it's just wide there. Lamella with the challenge as well. I believe put off the shot from Delafeu a little bit there. Tried to challenge. Unfortunately, didn't get the challenge. And I believe it is a corner, actually. I think it deflected off Laporte, and it did indeed. It will be a corner here. Delafeu on it. 
Larice with a nice punch away. And G try to header it back to Kane. But it only comes to Gibson. PNR. Lukaku. Easy save for Larice. Danny Rose. Oh, dispossessed by Delafeu here and Lukaku. Oh, it was a big mess up there from Danny Rose. And uh, he headed it away to Son. And Tottenham have got it clear for now. A bit of a risky play there by um, Danny Rose. The air. Looking for Rose with the pass. He's chested it nicely. Son. Kalanoglu. Oh my god. Jagielka tackled Kalanoglu at the right time there. Otherwise that could have been another screamer. Kyle Walker there, a bit aggressive with that foul on McCarthy. It will be a free kick. Fuck off with the Brian transfer. We don't. We, I saw it like the first six matches. We don't see it like the next six. Kalhanoglu, Lamella, and G's out on the right. We know he's a pacey guy. Try to put it in the middle. It's punched out by Robles. Oh, Joel, I don't really know what you call him. It could be either. Son going from range. Across the goal by NG. Oh, it's defended away. I'm not sure who the defender is, but it was defended away. John Stones defends it. It will be a corner here for Tottenham. It will be Calvin Noglu to take it. That's a beautiful corner. It's only stopped by Jackie Elka. Vertonghen could have scored that header there. Jaggy Elka put his body on the line there and managed to stop that from going past him and his keeper. Seamus Coleman now. Gerard De La Feu. Crossfield to Baines. Lamella picks up the ball but loses it straight to PNR. McCarthy. Lukaku's out left. Needs to be in the more central position if he wants, well, if he wants to score this. But he's crossed it in. And it was Barkley running in there, but Lloris catched it with no problem. And G to Kalanoglu. Danny Rose looking for a bit of a run here now. Kalanoglu looking for a bit of a fast attack there, but John Stones able to get there. And Delafeu on to Gibson now. And this could be bad. The guitar is running free. If you guys don't get that joke, there's Gibson guitars in, in life. I don't know if I don't know where that actually gets sold, but there is it's such a thing called a Gibson guitar. Anyway, Kalhanoglu finds Harry Kane there. It's a good tackle by Stones. I believe Stones is going to reach before Harry Kane, and he is. Seamus Coleman. Oh, he's Jackie Elka, my bad. Try to put pressure there on uh, Joel there. Joel's dealt with it, and Stones is on to Pina. What? Moment of madness, or it certainly could be. What's he on about? Oh, my God, the air. Oh my god, I thought he got away with that. I thought Dier had gone away with that. It looks like it could be an injury here for Everton. Coleman's down, clutching his leg. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Coleman's angry with uh, Dier there for that foul, but I'd, I'd be angry too, to be honest. Anyway, Coleman passes it straight to Son. Danny Rose. Lamella. Spots Walker, who is fast, we know this. We've seen the pace from Walker. And it looks like he's going for another one of his lung-busting runs here. Looking for the cross. Harry Kane's head. No. And G. Try to put it back in. But it's going to be cleared away by Everton. Harry Kane almost. He's got his second here in the BPL. Baines. Barkley. Lukaku now. Jagielka. Lukaku with a safe option, passing it back to his defender. Delafeu has been picked out of his crossfield ball once again. Danny Rose was not fooled by the skill move there, and Danny Rose wins the throw in for Tottenham. Throw it back to Eric Lamella. Down to Som. Need to make some build up here. Cal Walker and G might be through here. It is a bit of a foul there. Uh, from Baines. A free kick. I'm not sure if it's quite in a scoring position. Tottenham's next game will be at Stadium of Light against Sunderland. I don't know if it's really within scoring range. I, would, I don't know. Should I go for it? It's quite far.
It's into Kalhanoglu, who's got the shot away, but Stones has blocked it. Tricked everyone there, thinking, making everyone think he's going to go for the shot. Instead, went for the pass. It was originally meant to go to Ng, but it went all the way to Kalanoglu. And Danny Rose puts it in the middle for Leighton Baines to clear, I guess. The goalkeeper now is in possession. He's going to pass it down to McCarthy. He's probably going to pass it down to Jagielka. He's going to pass it along to Baines. No, he's going to turn and try and get it back to McCarthy. But it's been picked up on here. Son. Son forces a very good save out of Joel. Uh, very good save by Joel Robles. The new Everton goalkeeper who's replaced Tim Howard. That was going top left just like Kalinoglu's was. Short ball to Kalinoglu. Who's going to bring it in. Oh, Kane was beaten there by uh, Joel Robles in the air. And it is going to be half time here. At 1-0. Or oh, is Lukaku going to make it forward? No, he's not. It's cleared away nicely. Hell, it could even be a, another attack here. Not quite. And it will be a half-time 1-0 to Tottenham. How White Hart Lane. Incredible screamer from Carl Hanoglu. Opened the game. I want to see this again, guys. Look at this. He just let fly and that's gone top left. That is a, a, what an amazing goal. What an amazing player Carl Hanoglu will be. 1-0 up. Uh, half times Liverpool, Swansea, and Manchester United go play later on in the day. I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of hoping Liverpool will lose their match, and I'm also kind of hoping Man United will lose their match, so we can have a concrete third place. Maybe we might go higher. Who knows? Tom Cleverley, former Manchester United guy, coming on for Darren Gibson, who's also a former Manchester United guy. Both former Manchester United guys there. Tom Cleverley coming on at half time for Darren Gibson. As we kick off the second half here with Everton, Barkley and Lukaku kicking it off. McCarthy, I believe, has passed it back to Jagielka. Oh my God, my bad, it's cleverly. I'm not very good with these player names. Danny Rose trying to stop Delafeu. Instead, it's going to be Vertonghen that comes across. It's very good defended by uh, Vertonghen. Walker's got some space here. Across the ground. Carlos Lenoglu is hoping that would come to him. Lamella's got it. Oh, Carlos Lenoglu tackled by PNR. Looked as if he was about to go through. PNR stopped him. I didn't even think PNR still played football at all, let alone for Everton. Harry Kane, oh! That could be a yellow there. Harry Kane, no card luckily for him. But that could have been a lot worse than it was. Oh, and Joel has passed it out wrongly. And G has got the rebound in. Joel Robles basically passed it to Harry Kane. Let's see this again. Basically passed it to Harry Kane. Harry Kane couldn't quite score. But the rebound came to NG. And he has scored. It's a goal here for Tottenham. I was thinking of loaning him out for the season. But that would leave me with two strikers. And then G's had a pretty good season so far. So I'm going to keep him in as a backup striker for either Lacazette or Kane. And he seems to be doing a very good job here today. And G with a goal. And while we're celebrating that goal, I'm going to make a couple of... Well, I'm going to make one substitution, of course. Harry Kane going to make way for Lacazette. I need Lacazette to have some game time, especially if I want him to grow into a superstar that I know he can be. Harry Kane will make way for Lacazette here. I was originally going to bring in G off, but he scored that, so it's going to be Lacazette coming on. Hopefully Lacazette can make an impact in this game, just like Callum Noglu and G have. 2-0 here to Tottenham. As Everton will kick off here with Lukaku and Backley once again. Lukaku and Backley get a bit mixed up there, passes it back to Jagielka. Looking for a quick attack here, Everton, Baines, PNR. <coughs> Excuse me. That sneeze might oh that sneeze might continue to go. Delafeu. That was a nice volley, but it was a good save from one of the best goalkeepers in the division, Hugo Lloris. Lacazette try to run forward with his pace. jagielka has got there first. And Joel not messing around this time. 
Passing it straight out to Jagielka. Coleman. Cleverly. Delafeu. It's a tackle by NG. Lamella. Oh, tackled. Should have maybe cut round there. Everton's next game, as, is, as you can see there, will be against Chelsea, September 12th. Carlton Nogglo has been picked up by the pass here. Looking to get it over to Lacazette, not quite, unfortunately. Falling for the French man. They're just passing around, literally, one touch passing. Okay, Lukaku's not. Lukaku's going to make that. Okay, okay, that was a sick cross, Lukaku. That was definitely worth it. And there's going to be a substitution here, PNR. Coming off, Morales coming on. Why did they start Morales? Morales, in my opinion, is a better player than PNR, but I guess it's whatever. I can't remember who the Everton manager is, but I guess it's whatever they want to do. Lacazette maybe through here, I believe, just played on side by Jagielka. Lacazette almost scored his first Premier League goal off the post and wide. Alexandre Lacazette not quite adjusting to Premier League life yet. We've had four games and Lacazette hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure he'll come into his own very, very soon. One of the best young strikers in the world, in my opinion, Lacazette. Harry Kane and uh, Lacazette haven't... I can't believe NG scored more goals than Harry Kane and Lacazette. But I guess I guess it's just wherever you hit your form in the season. Laporte... I was going to say Laporte, and that's not how you pronounce it. Laporte tackles back there, but he's gone for a throw into Everton. Baines now. Barkley. Lukaku. Interesting fact here, they want me to sign Lukaku for 39.5 million. He's only 82 rated. Laporte is only 83. Well, Laporte is 83 rated, and he costs less. And he's going to grow by more as well. That was a nice diving attempt of a header by Walker, but it's going to be a Tottenham throw in anyway. It's been a nice... Relaxed game here for Tottenham. There'll be a couple of chances I thought, oh no, they're going to concede, like maybe this one now. Lamella's lost it out here. After this attack, I'm going to make another substitution. Well, Reese catches with no problems. And we're going to bring off Dier for Mason. We're going to bring off Lamella for Chadley. And Lloris going to kick it clear. To Lacazette, who's headed it on to Calhoun Oglu, who's not going to keep control of that, unfortunately. Next time play stops, we'll have two new Tottenham faces on the pitch. And two ones who already been in the game are going to be subbed off. Lukaku tried to go for a cheeky back heel there. The Tottenham defence spotted it. Lamela's tackle there. It was looking about to pass a beautiful through ball to Clinton and G, but unfortunately... It was tackled and now Coleman for Everton. Everton on the attack. Delafeu. It's blocked well by Dier, who's about to make way from Mason. And a yellow card here for that foul by Son. Substitution, Lamella. And of course, Dier coming off. Mason and Chad Lake coming on. Nice catch by Hugo Lloris there. Let's try to get it clear, I believe. I don't think he was in for anyone in particular. But it's come back in here. And this isn't good. This isn't good at all, but he's offside. So it's all good. But Tom are going to hoof it clear. Hopefully looking for a player. He did look for Lacazette there, but Lacazette moved to where he was originally standing, I believe. That probably put off the uh, free kick there. It will be a free kick now to Everton. Danny Rose impeding Tom Cleverley here. It's going to be left. Lukaku... He's going to be the man to take it. Whether it'll be a delivery or whether it'll be a shot on goal is different. It's a delivery. Delafeu to target. And now Tottenham could counter here. Son has got some space here. Very pacey young winger is uh, Young Min Son. He's got past Baines. Joel has punched it out. But Lacazette has got the ball here. Tried to trick his way in. Couldn't quite, unfortunately, for... Uh, Frenchman there. And now Everton can counter-attack here. John Stone's attacking for some reason. Vertonghen beaten to the ball by Stone's here. What the hell? John Stone's has crossed it in. And that's why you don't get sent back to do crosses. Lukaku maybe could have got that at a stretch. But it's going to be a substitution here for Everton now. And number 20 is um, Ross Barkley. Uman Niasse coming on. 
I've got a few more things to finish off in this episode, so it might be a rush near the end of the episode. Chadley and G. Baines with a good tackle, but it will be a throw into Tottenham. Looking to press for that one more goal. Back to back to Chad, uh, back to Chadley, and Cleverley's come away with it here for Everton, and it will be a two 0 victory. All being well, three minutes out of time. Tottenham could concede that goal. We're gonna go pack the bus. I don't want to concede a goal at this late juncture. And Young Min Son and Kyle Walker is gonna ensure it goes clear. Oh my God, who got in the way? De La Feu, the commentator going mental for that shot, even though it was going nowhere near. And Lloris just getting it clear. The 2-0 victory is what Tottenham needed, and it's what Tottenham got today. And G, tackled by McCarthy. And G is a good young striker who can play very well. And it is full-time here at White Hart Lane, guys. I'm going to have to rush this a little bit. But it was some, a good game. Carl Noglu scoring the opening goal, and then and G scoring that rebound. When Robles messed up the goal kick, well, the free kick, it came to Kane. Kane missed. The rebound was from NG. Liverpool are drawn. That's incredible because that means we go higher on the table now. But also, we've got transfer deadline day. I think, guys, I'm gonna, this is going to be where I end the episode. Because I want, I want the, I want the, uh, Chelsea deadline day to be a little bit dramatic. I don't want to do it at the end of a uh, episode against uh, with a game again. Well, from a game against L Everton, I was going to say Leicester. So next time, guys, I'm going to set up the squad for the next game. Um, once I've simulated to the next game, of course. There's the top deals: Verratti going to Arsenal, Eriksson going to Valencia, and Cavani going to Manchester City. And the latest deals: Deli Ali going to Aston Villa. Cavani again going to City and Anderson going to PSG. So we will Roma confirm Kane talks. Oh yeah, they did. They did put a bid in for Kane, I believe, and I said thirty-five million or no go. We're currently whoa, what? We're actually top. We're top of the league after four games. It after a rocky start here in the Spurs career mode, we've completely turned it around. And uh, we seem to be top of the league. So let's look at the top scorers before we go. I'm kind of messing up here. Uh, top scorers. I've got to go around here and do it because um, of the deadline day. We're actually not going to look at the top scorers, guys. We're just going to see how our team looks on goals. So Cal Noglu, top scorer. And G, Harry Kane and Lamella are the other ones who scored. Deli Ali also scored a couple, I believe. And uh, Lacazette is on zero. So I'm going to quickly go, oh, I'm not going to quickly go through all teams, I'm going to slowly go through all teams, so you guys can compare, and then we're going to end the video, you can see, I want to see, uh, mainly I want to see how Deli Ali's doing, two goals, but I'm guessing those were our goals, Pedro's had a good season so far, Lukaku with two goals, unfortunately couldn't get one against us, Moreno's got four, and he's a left back, Rooney scored two, that's okay, Mm, no goals for Middlesbrough yet. Wait, Middlesbrough actually scored no goals? I was reading wrong. It's actually... Why am I saying Middlesbrough when it's Norwich? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, my brain. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, with that bit of uh, stupid brain thinking there, uh, we're going to end the episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 8 of my Tottenham Hotspur career mode on FIFA 16. I'll see you next time for deadline day and our next game, which will be against Sunderland. So, goodbye for now.